Welcome back. There's a lot to think about when designing a room. The furniture, the textures, the features to highlight, and the ones to conceal. And most importantly, how to bring your personality into the room. Pam Dixon shows that one of the best ways to do that is with the colors you use. Color is a silent influence. The way you use it can affect the way you feel. Surrounding yourself with colors like beige, cream, blue, and chocolate brown can make you feel calm, serene, and mellow. Yellows, turquoise, and coral are bright punches of color to energize, get you going, and keep you awake. Red tends to stir up emotion, which can be both good and bad. Some people find a room with a lot of red can make them anxious, but experts say using the right touches of red accents can make a room warm and inviting. Color is powerful. Let's take a closer look. Casey Dross, the owner of the Design Studio, joins us. Thanks for being with us, Casey. I see you put together three color palettes here. Let's talk about some of these colors and the moods that they create. Okay. Red. The red is definitely, again, your active and energizing color. It uh, definitely creates a more formal, I would say elegant sort of mood. Um, it is a strong color, and I do a lot of reds and accents, but we've taken reds from where the strong, earthy reds are, and what we're doing with that now is we're doing a lot of variations of red, which could be raspberry, coral, things like that. But red is a great color to put as an accent. Red actually can affect you physically. Definitely. Can't explain that? It can. It, uh, it can raise your blood pressure. It's definitely... Um, more energizing. It's not something that I would say that you would want in a doctor's office in a waiting room where you want to be more relaxed. Blue is uh, more passive and serene. Blue is what we're getting a lot uh, of people asking for these days. They're seeing more of this blue in magazines because the spa look is very in right now. And people are just getting more into the tranquil, serene look. You don't necessarily have to paint an entire room blue, do you, to feel calm? You don't. You could pull, uh, for instance, like this fabric has a neutral background and then it's got the pops of blue on it, which is very nice and serene. So if you're not a blue person, but you do want that tranquil, serene feel, mm -hmm. You can have fabrics that have neutral backgrounds or you could have your neutral background on the wall and you could pop the blue out in your fabrics. Let's look over here at the uh, the neutral okay. colors, the beiges here. How will this make you feel in a room? This is a great color because I think that uh, you can pop a lot of other colors with the neutrals. So if someone likes to change or they like to change their decorating uh, with seasons, they can definitely do that if they have a neutral palette. If you want to paint a wall, paint a board. I usually tell my clients to paint a board and set it in the room and look at it for a few days. You have to give yourself about 24 hours with the color. Because once you change a color, uh, at first it, it kind of could be shocking, but then it might grow on you. Thanks a lot, Casey. There sure is a lot that goes into choosing colors. There is. Carrie, I'm glad there are experts like Casey around to help us plan this all out.